What is up, guys? Stay tuned to the end of this video to see Blade HQ cut all the things. Me and Olight are cooking up something special. Subscribe for an offer you don't want to miss. UtahGunExchange.com, the nation's patriot marketplace. Buy, sell, trade. Shot Show 2018, we're back at Case Knives with Fred. Hey man, how's it going? Good, how are you Shane? I'm doing real well, dude. We got some pretty neat stuff to talk about this year, particularly this guy right there. Tell me about it. Yeah, absolutely. This is Case's first assisted opener. Nice. This one's in a yellow handle, our yellow synthetic that everybody knows and loves. But we're really, really psyched about this, this product. It works like an absolute dream and has our, our own little uh, mechanism inside yeah. that uh, makes that baby just spring open. Can I get it in hand from you? Yep. So I was playing with this a little bit earlier and you were saying that the yellow is what we have here, but you're gonna, you have it available in a couple different colors as well. Yeah, right? there's, there, there's a bunch of different handle styles. Um, for, there's bone, yeah. there's a black canvas laminate. Mm -hmm. Bone Stag, there's, there's a few different offerings there to choose from. Yeah, and, and those are all available now, is that right? Or? No, they won't be out until late fall. Late fall, Yep, okay. we brought these very first samples to SHOT, Shot Show, um, so that everybody's seeing the very first ones for the, for the first time. Yeah. But these are not off the factory floor yet, these were off the workbench. <laughs> cool. And so, does that mean those cover colors or cover types are finalized, or are you thinking about others? between now and the time that you actually, uh, between now and fall? Well, the ones we're featuring here are finalized, but we will most likely be adding more gotcha. as time goes on. Okay, sure. Um, based on what again, this, this pattern style, what's it based on? That is actually our mid-folding hunter. Okay. Uh, that's been repurposed into this assisted opening design. Was the mid-folding hunter also a, um, a liner lock like this? Yes, it is. Okay. Yep. So fairly similar and it had a pocket clip too? Yes, some of them did, some don't. Okay, got it. And uh, basically you took that and turned it into, added your own spring mechanism back there, kind of a torsion bar built into uh, the, the, the back strap or whatever you call that, and um, turned it into a very effective, pretty powerful spring assist, man, I like it. Thank you. Uh, and, and also it's worth mentioning, you guys don't have MSRP on this, right? Not, Not right yet. now, we don't. Because we we pro we think they're going to be around one hundred twenty-five dollars. Okay. As an average. Okay. All right. All right. Fair enough. Um, and like I said before, great action on it. Just flies out. the The tension begins about here, where that tang begins to hit that little torsion bar, and then you kind of feel that press in tension the whole way, and uh, just a little press takes over real nice and fast. Cool little spring assist with a great classic look to it. Um, yeah, man, I think that's gonna do well. Good job on that. We Thank you. a couple you. other ones to look at too. Some more Tony Bowes collaborations, is that yeah, right? Yeah, this year's is called the Premium Stockman. And it's uh, based on a com competing manufacturer's design uh, back years ago. Mm -hmm. um, that was a, it was a Stockman like this. They also did a, like a jackknife version of this. It's, it's real uh, attribute that makes it different is this clip blade that has this extra sweep. That's not seen on a, you know, the typical clip blades that you see. Right. Um, and the rest of it has the hallmarks of, of the Tony Bowes designs that we know and love. Um, that Tony has shown us how to make in the factory. Mm -hmm. And we turn these things into the closest thing to a custom pocket folder made in any factory today. Beautiful. And all done according to Tony's specs, to according to his preferences. These are wire cut uh, 154 steel blades. Okay, 154 CM, got yep, it. Yep, 154 CM, they're steel um, and stainless. Yep. Uh, bolsters are steel, liners are steel, spring is steel yep. and you'll notice when we close this up you can hear that action yeah nice and strong and it's 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 just made Shoot. as if Tony was doing it himself <laughs> the shield is also pinned in it's okay. not glued in so we take these extra steps 
to bring something that's really high quality to the market, but at a fraction of a Tony Bowes custom knife. Yeah, and still that fraction amounts to a few hundred bucks, right? I yeah, think. that's right. Um, Tony would tell you a knife like this would cost uh, about $2,500 from him. Okay. These will retail for between $450 to about $800, depending on which handle material you're choosing. Okay. And we are missing one from this assortment. Uh, there is an ebony wood handled one that's quite beautiful. We got a good selection here that all look really, really nice. Cool. So if you're into the idea or into um, wanting some real nice sort of custom classic knives, these are good ones to look at. Shane, this is our 19th year working with Tony. It's been an unbelievably successful program. And uh, there's always people clamoring to get these knives before we ever get them out. So yeah. if you're in the market for something this, this high uh, quality, uh, get your name in with your, your favorite dealer now and get yours reserved. Cool. <laughs> Right on. These will be these will be starting to ship this uh, next month. Okay. And then you'll see one about every other every month after that. Okay. Different handle style. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so I was also really interested in this guy right here, which you told me is uh, also a very old design, but something that's kind of been brought taken off the shelf and, and reissued or re rebuilt again. So tell us about it. That's right. So that's the doctor's knife, uh, an eighty-five pattern. Um, it's, it goes back about a, at least 100 years in case manufacturing, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, a, it's unique because it, it has such a great story. Um, that spatula blade, uh, that's a part of that blade configuration. Uh, this was a knife that was carried in the kits of doctors that would do house calls. Mm -hmm. And uh, that spatula was used for everything from scooping up uh, powders to mix in uh, liquids for medicine mm -hmm. to you being used as a tongue depressor. Uh, druggists would use it to count out pills when filling prescriptions. Um, you might notice the cap end bolster there yeah. uh, is, has, a f has a flat end and that was used to crush pills. Okay. So again, helping to make medicines. This uh, spear blade that's a part of that, uh, would be used to uh, pop stitches, cut, uh, cut bandages. Okay, okay. Had a lot of function. I can see that. Um, are we um, releasing this in a bunch of different covers as well? Yes, absolutely. Um, we have that in everything from, as you can see, that's, that's stag. Yep. Uh, we have some kieranite, we have some bone handles, we have some smooth synthetics as well. Yeah. So we're pretty excited about this. This is something that's been in the case vault now for a few years and um, because we've had collectors uh, clamoring for it ever since, uh, we thought we'd dust it off the tooling and bring it out and make it for all of 2018 and then it's gonna go back on the shelf once we're done with that. Okay, so if you want it, get it while you can, is basically the message, right? That's right, a lot of these are, are, are being accepted as pre-orders at some of our largest dealers, so mm -hmm. they're available pretty soon. Cool, nice collector Some are piece. out already. Yeah, good little collector piece, good utility blade as well. Um, I'm not sure what I would use the, the spatula for, but I'm sure there's tons of little uses that your average person would find for that as well. So, you know, whether you want this as a collector piece or something you're actually going to use, yeah. You know, the uh, one-bladed versions that we also offer um, are really quite elegant, and they, they make a great um, everyday carry knife just for that reason. Oh, okay. We yeah. also have one more blade configuration on that knife that includes a pen, pen blade as that secondary blade. Oh, okay, okay. And are those available now as well? Yes, they are. Oh, good, good. Cool. So. If you, if you don't have no use for the spatula, like I was kind of talking about before. That's right. Then you've got the other options available. You got it. Sweet, man. Um, did we have a price on those? Uh, these all range in prices according to, uh, to handle material. Stuff. Yeah. But I'd look for them between uh, $80 to 100 Okay. Not outlandish for what you're getting. Very beautiful. Case quality. Mm -hmm. um, so you guys have started partnering with Winkler knives, right? On, That's right. On some stuff. Let's talk about those a little bit. Yep. So we started this uh, American Heroes program with Daniel Winkler, and uh, he's been outfitting uh, special operators with uh, 
uh, custom design knives and working directly with them. And uh, this is the first in the series. It's called the Case Winkler Skinner. And it was carried, something like this was carried in the pack of, in the kit of uh, Kevin Holland, mm -hmm. who was a special operator in two military branches. And uh, he, th this is based on a French revolutionary uh, hunting knife design. Mm -hmm. And this comes in three different handle styles. Uh, what you're looking at is a camo G10. Okay. And we also have it in walnut handle and a black canvas laminate. Nice. Do we have prices on those, or is that? Yeah, these go for two ninety five. Okay. And the that the G10 actually goes for three ten. The other two handle styles go for two ninety five. Okay. All right. Nice leather. Leather sheath, sheath accompanies it. The belt loop that's detachable and can be reversed, so you can wear it on either side. Cool. The second in the series. This was this is the Case Winkler Recurve Utility number six. And it was co-designed by Harry Bologna, a 22-year Navy SEAL. And it was his wish to create something that could really, really take a beating when it's outside. And in survival situations, wherever it takes you. This, we start with a quarter inch full tang piece of ADCR V2 steel. Wow. It's skeletonized inside, just like the Winkler uh, Skinner is. Mm -hmm. And uh, gives it more balance. Once you add the handles, these handles are made of canvas laminate. We're offering it in tan and in black. All right. The blades are treated with a black oxide finish. Mm -hmm. So non-glare finish. These are co-branded. You can see the case logo on the tang here. Yep. And the Winkler logo on the other side. Cool. We have some ag aggressive gimping here to help uh, with control. We also have two lanyard holes uh, that gives you better access options and allows you to wrap your hand when you need to. Sure, sure. So looking at that guy, I was one of the first things I noticed was, like you mentioned, the massively thick blade. But look at that blade tip. Do you hold that yep. right there for me? I'm gonna see if I can get that to focus. Uh, that is a ridiculously stout blade tip. I think we're focused on it now. Holy moly, I cannot imagine <laughs> anybody ever doing any sort of chipping or breaking or anything with that blade tip. It's just ridiculously stout. It would make a good batoning knife, right? Uh, a, a good, basically destroy anything. Yes, <laughs> yes. Tear apart a car if you felt like it knife. This recurve edge is a half inch longer than the length of the blade. So the blade's four and a quarter inches. Mm -hmm. This cutting edge measures four and three quarter inches. Okay. Okay. So you get a lot of cutting action out of out of one draw. Mm -hmm. The sheath that it comes with is also part of the story. It's all leather. We actually hand form each of these as the knives come off the line. Okay. Um, so they fit perfectly. Um, it's reinforced inside, so you can't poke through it. Okay. And then it's lined with leather on the inside to give a nice soft draw. All right. And we have an addition to the outside that we've never really seen on any kind of a knife sheet. Yeah, before. that's right. We have this special piece here to hold in place a Zippo lighter. Yeah, man, that's crazy, but cool at the same time. So everybody, you, by now we've all seen um, our ferro rods, rods attached to sheets. You see that all the time nowadays. I've never seen anybody consider, even think about adding a Zippo lighter to the outside, but now that you guys have done it, I'm like, why not? Well, that was Harry Bologna's idea, actually, because he, you know, a lot of people carry uh, a Zippo lighter in the military, mm -hmm. and they always need a way to start a fire. Mm -hmm. And as, as campers, so don't we, right? Right, right, right. Well, I mean, if, if they're going to carry it anyway, give them a way to carry it on the outside of the knife in one package, right? That's right. Keep it out of the pocket and save the pocket yep. for other stuff. You can see we've got a little bit of kink here in this material so that it stays, yeah. the lighter stays in place. Yeah. Um, it's really a, a great design. Yeah, all of, it's simple but clever. That's right. All of this, uh, all of this uh, accessory hardware here um, allows you to carry this different ways. This is a belt clip, obviously. Um, this also comes with a belt loop, so you can carry it horizontally. Okay. And all of this is detachable, so it can also be 
uh, chains to the other side so you can carry it from either side. Oh, good, good, good. Nice. Yeah, man, those are pretty cool. So you get the knife, this sheath, all the attachments for carrying, and the Zippo lighter is the $395 retail. Oh, cool. Of course, if you've already got your own Zippo lighter, then you just now have an extra one. Uh, does it come with this specific one in black? It is the, it is the matte black. Now there's okay. a, a Special American Heroes logo that's going to go on that before they start to ship. Oh, cool. Later next month. Nice. Uh, new stuff from Case Knives. I'm pretty excited about all this stuff. I love the, the little doctor's knife here. I think that's got a lot of personality to it. Very collectible, very usable for anybody that uh, just wants a good uh, carry knife. And then, of course, the spring assist. Looks like a lot of fun, and I look forward to seeing that in the future as well. Fred, thank you. Thanks, Shane. It's been a lot of fun. We're at SHOT Show 2018, Case Knives booth. Thanks for watching. What is up guys, this is Ben from Blade HQ. This is my Cold Steel Espada XL, and I like to cut Neapolitan ice cream. Boom, boom.